the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, Allah subhanahu wa taala divided up his mercies into a hundred portions. He divided his mercies into a hundred portions, and he only sent one portion of that mercy into this world. Anything of mercy that we see in Allah's creation, that's only one of Allah's portions of mercy. And he said, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah stored away 99 of his mercies for the day of judgment. The scholars have said, just imagine that. Anything that you can think of that sounds merciful, the, a mother towards her child, a father towards her, his children, anything in this world that you can ever think of, that's just one of Allah's mercies that he sent in this world. Why has he stored that for us? The reason he stored that for us is because Allah wants us to be from the people of Jannah. Allah wants us to go to the gardens of Jannah. This is why on the day of judgment, people will be judged in one way, but the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is going to be judged in an absolutely different style than anybody else. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will veil the believing people from others when He judges them, when He, when he reckons them. Why? All of this is because of Allah's mercy towards the believing people. But why does Allah show so much mercy towards the believing people? Because of his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whom Allah sent and he, uh, and the greatest description by which Allah described him in the Quran was وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah said to him, and we did not send you but as a mercy for the worlds. 